from hundreds of sessions that I've had with a lot of men, I've come to find out that majority of men have the same problem. They are all tending to have a woman that is disrespectful, a woman that may be unfaithful, or a woman that may be using them financially. Now, if this seems to be the problem that you are facing, and if this seems to be a reoccurring thing with all the women that you've dated, you always find yourself getting cheated on. You always find yourself getting used. You always find yourself getting disrespected. And I'm going to give you the reasons why this is happening to you and how to prevent it from reoccurring. The reality is, a lot of men complain that she lied to me from the beginning. She was so good. She pretended to be so nice. And all of a sudden, she turned into the opposite of everything she showed me. Listen, women never, ever, ever lie. Women never lie. They might not tell you the truth but they always show you the truth. Every woman that you've been with that has hurt you, lied to you, cheated on you, used you, whatever it is, she showed you her red flags from the day one. You chose to ignore them. She showed you that she was going to do all those things. You just chose to ignore them. This is what women do. They will meet a man and they will basically show you all their red flags. Most of the times in not so clear ways. They might show it simply by how she dresses dressing in provocative ways she might show you with her sexual behaviors she might be very sexually liberal she might have weak sexual boundaries she might show you in terms of how she talks about her exes she tells you that all her exes were toxic she might show you by the kind of people that she listens to the kind of people that she's always hanging out with she might show you by how she flirts with other guys in coded ways whatever it is she shows you most of her traits. She might show you through her relationship with her parents, her father especially. She might show you through how she is as a parent. Maybe she's a single mom. She has kids and she doesn't prioritize them. Or she may have denied the man access to his children. And you think that you can come into her life and be a captain stepdad. And that she's going to treat you differently. But the reality is that she showed you how she will eventually treat you if your relationship with her turns sour and you think that you're going to be immune to that behavior it's not possible so these women always show you all their red flags from day one now women pick the man that allows them to get away with the most nonsense they pick the man that allows them to get away with the most bad behaviors now if a woman does not have too many red flags what will happen is that she's going to attract a man with really clear boundaries because a man with boundaries can only be with a woman who doesn't have too many red flags because they are a perfect match she doesn't do too much he doesn't tolerate too much they have a very smooth relationship but a woman that is filled with so many red flags will only select a man who is filled with low self-esteem she will find a man who doesn't know how to exert his boundaries a weak man that she can manipulate to be able to get away with most of her bad behaviors a man who doesn't know how to stand up for himself that is the man that she will select if you are a man with really low self-esteem a man that values the sex and the connection more than the respect that she should be giving you. You are going to find yourself constantly manipulated, cheated on and disrespected by women. Now, how do women spot a man with a low self-esteem? He seems to be super impressed and excited with her beauty. When a man is so impressed with a woman's beauty, she starts to have power over him. The most beautiful woman in the world would put herself for a man who is not that attractive if he is not that impressed and overexcited about her appearance. But a woman who is not that attractive will become disrespectful and push boundaries with a man who is in awe of her beauty and appearance because she sees it as a power to play. So if you are an inexperienced man with a low self-esteem, women smell that very quickly and they learn that they can push boundaries with you and disrespect you. Maybe they can cheat on you and you still forgive them because they know that you can't do any better. You are simply obsessed with her. But when a woman learns that she is beautiful, but her beauty is not what is needed for her to be in a relationship with this man, then she's going to be forced to respect herself and respect you more. Because she knows that she has to bring something other than her appearance, other than sex, in order to be able to keep this man. But when she learns that her appearance is the only thing that she needs, after every fight, after every disrespect, she knows that she can simply use her beauty or sex to get back in his good books. And it is very easy work for her. She doesn't even need to stress her head for it. Another signal that you have low self-esteem is that you don't set boundaries. Now, what I mean by this is that she has done something disrespectful and you've seen it as disrespectful. You've received it as disrespectful, but you are afraid to call her out on it. You just let it slide. You want to keep the peace. You want to keep her happy. Now, listen, 
a man who desire and focus on keeping the peace at the expense of keeping the respect is always going to lose both the peace and the woman i'm not saying that you should shout at her whenever she does something wrong no what i'm saying is that you let it be known that this behavior is something that you're not comfortable with and if she continues to break that boundary after you've communicated it again and again you don't have to keep repeating yourself you just remove yourself you show her the door you simply respect yourself and leave her some people actually need to know that you can give them your absence if they don't respect your presence